Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and we are looking at ticker symbol XOMA. I'm going to be showing you four charts. The first three charts are daily charts where each candle will represent one, one day of trading. The fourth chart is a 15 minute chart and each candle on that chart will represent 15 minutes of trading. Uh, Zoma has been trading in this uptrend, forming candles above the middle Bollinger Band support level, riding EMA's 4 and 8 support, which are the pink and green line. And then uh, middle Bollinger Band is currently at a dollar. It's been riding this support level and upper Bollinger Band at 118 resistance higher. You can see this channel forming here. And currently, Z Zoma is breaking a key resistance level. So there's this uptrend here. Well, the, the key level to break was the first trading day of... October, which was right here on this first trading day. So currently the share price is trading above that level intraday. Um, the, this is the key level to close above. A close above the, the closing price on October 1st, the first trading day of October would, would signal more upside potential and would put, next would be you want to break the high of day from the 1st trading day of October and then if there's a close above that level the next resistance level is this upper wick here after the big gap down that would be the next key level to break as you can see over here there's a gap there's a gap right here a big a big space in the chart between the low of day here and the high of day here so this created a, a space in the chart so a close above the high of day on the July the 22nd would signal potential gap fill up to this level. So um, let's, let's look at the next chart. Okay, this chart right here is a closer look at, um, at, at Zoma with the uptrend riding EMA's 4 and 8 support higher. You can see here this is the October resistance level to break. The first key resistance level, and um, Zoma had had fa failed during this entire time to close above that level. So a close above this level should signal more upside potential. The um, as you can see here, the, the RSI is up above 50. So you've got RSI between 50 and 70, and in the bull zone, and then you have. Uh, Fasto is at 78.57 and is currently hitting the, the overbought power zone. Now, something to take note, Zoma has been unable to head higher in the, it recently in the past here uh, uh, with Fasto above, above 80. Um, we could look back here at this other chart. Same thing for this uh, longer monthly chart. You know, above 80 has been a difficult level for Fasto, to, for Zoma to hold. So something to keep in mind. Um, look down here at volume and there's a nice volume spike. So you've got um, the best volume since this first trading day in October. Um, if you look over here at the next chart, you could see this is the 50, 102 day moving average chart. Um, candles are forming above the 50 day moving average. That level has turned into support. You can see how it bottomed and now it's starting to trend upward. Um, th th this chart shows the, the key resistance levels back here in July. So you get if you get a close first above the closing price in October and then the high of day on that uh, on the first trading day of October, the next key resistance level to break is up here. So and the, and the uh, next simple moving average resistance level to break is up here at the 100 day moving average at 185. Um, to, you know, many times you'll see a run um, when you get a break above the 50-day moving average to the 100-day moving average. So keep that level uh, on your on your radar. And then the next chart is a 15-minute chart. This candle, each candle rep represents 15 minutes of trading. This is a three-day chart, one, two, three. And so you can see the bullish move at the open. The share price ran up to you know the the basically this 128 level. Is the is the key level to break? 
Um, there's currently a double top at that level. So uh, going forward, um, candles forming above 128 will equal upside potential. If uh, this horizontal resistance line fails to break, um, as you can see, there's this ascending triangle pattern and it's coming to a flex point. Um, either resistance or support will break. If support breaks, that'll signal downside risk. Um, currently, the candles are writing the EMAs four and eight. So EMA eight at one, two, four, eight is the is the is the first you know is the first EMA four is the key level to, to break. But if EMA eight breaks as a support level, then that will put the middle Bollinger Band at 120.3 on deck. And as long as this uh, middle Bollinger Band support level holds, the uptrend should continue. So um, that is something to keep in mind. Um, when when you're watching the the intraday chart, you want to, if you're a bull, you want to see candles forming above the middle bull in demand. Um, if the support level breaks, that'll signal downside risk. Um, there is a declining volume pattern intraday here. See volume dropped off after the the big spike early on. So keep an eye out for a volume spike. And then you have MACD was about ready to cross over, pinched, and it's it's trying to separate again. Um, so keep an eye out for a bearish crossover. So very nice move for Zoma today. Um, thank you for viewing these charts, and I hope you're having a great day.